Blue ball, good morning. Pretty sure it's evening. Doesn't really matter. How are things looking out there? Dark. Dunno if you noticed, but all the lights went out. You think you're funny? A little bit. Why'd you call me over here? Ponies are getting restless. Not sure how long the power's cut's gonna last, so... So you've got to play the bad cop. More or less, yeah. Which means you want me to go out there and play good cop. Well, that's been our arrangement. And it's been working pretty well for us. I make the hard choice. I do what I need to keep us all alive. I be the bitch everyone hates. And you calm them down. Give them hope and lift their spirits. Yeah, that was the premise of the Stable 93 experiment. A leader to rally behind and a leader to do the hard things. They were one of our more successful experiments. They were just one of the least unsuccessful. Half empty, half full. Is that all you called me in here for? Is Topaz still outside? Probably not. She wanted to get back to her spot at the water distribution center. I told her to wait outside when she finished bringing you here. I can look outside the door and check. No, it's fine. We'll find her in a moment. Why did you want to find her? Because I need her with us. Yentl, too. She needs to get a full night's rest. Why? Does she have a big day tomorrow? She might. Maybe she'll meet her future best friend tomorrow. Is that a hopeful sentiment I'm hearing from you? What can I say? She's the best of us. And it's dragging down the worst of me. I haven't seen you smile once in three years. I've been smiling all the time. I smiled at Topaz just before she brought me in here. I smiled at Yentl this morning. See? I'm smiling right now. And somehow you still look utterly miserable. I don't really share my feelings around. Everyone's miserable. Everyone's sad. No need to add my own problems to the pile. I appreciate the effort. It's like everyone has a monologue about how sad they are prepared at all times. Yeah. Topaz's one was actually pretty short. Small mercies, then. Not really. It was still a pretty sad story. It sucks that she had to be the one to tell it. Half empty. Half full. I needed Topaz here because she's up next. Pardon? You asked why I want to find Topaz. It's because she's up next. To go see Fractal. I also asked why you called me here. So I'm up next as well. You, Topaz, me, and- That's your half empty. Please tell me there's a half full. Sorry, but there isn't even a glass anymore. He wants Yentl to come up with us. No! No, Overmare, you can't bring her up there with us! Stop it! Stop pretending like you're her father, or her brother, or whatever the fuck it is that's been going through your head! You aren't her surrogate. You aren't her interim. I'm her goddess-damned mother. Then you should act like it. If I don't bring her up, then Fractal's going to gas the basement. She'll die. If I bring her up, then maybe... Just maybe... She doesn't. I... Yeah. I thought this through. You're not the hero here, jackass. You're the nice guy with delusions of grandeur. Go find Topaz and meet me at the elevator. Where did you leave my daughter? By Baxter's. I'll fetch her. Go.